Hey folks, this is Andy. I'm uh, checking out a new Blacksmith Guild from Steamforge. This was released at Chen Con, and uh, I have been playing a couple games with them, but I left all the contents up, so I basically kind of wanted to show you guys what uh, what all the contents look like in the box. Um, it's a brand new guild um, set up in all their new plastics, uh, which has got the six team members inside there. Uh, along with a goal post, a scenery piece, and a ball. So let's go ahead and uh, get this get this guy open here so you can actually see what's all inside. So here you go. Got all the team members in there. I mean the great thing about this thing is it can actually be used as a carrying case for your team uh, temporarily until you actually get a uh, a proper carrying case with uh, with some foam and such, um, but this will work really good for a temporary. Um, as you can tell, each each piece in there is just uh, custom fit into the plastic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all the team members here. Actually, I'll go ahead and just pull out that one trailer. So what comes on the inside here um, is you know a little advertisement here for for Gibball, which is uh, downloading the new rules over on Steamforge. And it's also got the, the kickoff uh, set there, so giving a little advertising for there. Um, the awesome part about this box too is it does come with uh, all the tokens you possibly need uh, for your team, besides the stuff that comes in, like the range rules and rulers and such. So here's a bunch of the tokens here, some uh, fire tokens, which are pretty nasty for that team later on. Um, we'll go ahead and put this part off here. And here is all the normal tokens. Uh, these are all just in uh, just in cardboard. Um, you can buy like full-on acrylic versions of these uh, from Muse on Minis. They are amazing uh, tokens over there. I have a butcher set. Um, it is pretty awesome. Uh, it's a very thick cardstock. So as you can tell, it's pretty solid. It'll last you a long time, but if you want some really cool shiny shiny ones, uh, Musa Minis make some awesome ones too. So the nice thing here, which I think is also something that's actually included with uh, the kickstart, or the kickoff rules, is health bars. So in conjunction with these here, um, you can actually make health counters for everybody. So it's got the names there for ferrite, sledge, furnace, iron, anvil, and cinder. So it's also got all the yeah, icons there and a little AOE. So I mean that's pretty much it for the unboxing for these guys. Um, I would say they're pretty, pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to bring up some models here. Close up, see if I can get it to focus, hopefully. Um, this is cinder. It is not focusing for me, so I apologize. There we go. There she is. It's actually some very good quality miniatures um, for being just full on plastics. And here is the goalpost. Actually, give that a quick twirl. Yeah. I believe this is sludge. Come on. Apologize, this is not focusing the way I want it to. But but overall, the quality of the miniatures are pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with how. Uh, Steamforge has decided to go with uh, full-on plastic miniatures. Um, really makes it easy for the folks that don't do any assembly to just kind of just literally just pop open the box and start playing the game. Try not to block out too much detail of the miniature, but yeah. They look pretty cool. I 
I think next time I do one of these, if I happen to end up getting a box set, that's not out. I'll probably have something better planned for showing off the miniatures rather than just holding it into my hand. Like I said, I mean, they look really nice for for just uh, plastic miniatures. They are attached to the base, so unfortunately if you really wanted to have a kind of specialized base, like if you use a, like some of the resin pieces, um, you're not going to be able to have one of those unless you break off the miniature or cut it off. Uh, just a standard little scenery piece. I'm not sure if you could use it as terrain, but maybe something you can use up as terrain. It's got one of the, the iron forged balls there, which as you can tell there, it's already got one of those on the base for you. The cool thing though is they also have uh, decks of multiple languages. So you just have some of the characters, Anvil. I mean, it's all going to have Anvil on the front here because these are all the different languages that it has. Um, like I said, as I have played with this a couple times before, um, so I already have uh, the normal cards done and sleeved up for Sledge. Just give you kind of a quick look at the stats. You've probably already seen the stats online for some of the, like GB Scrum and that, I'll have them listed up, but I figure I'll just kind of pop through them, maybe see, give you an idea, some of the playbooks. Um, I would say Sledge is probably one of the nastiest uh, playbooks in here. Oh, actually it's Iron, sorry. Um, Iron has got a, a moment of seven damage on there, um, which is pretty insane. Where is it, Sledge? Yeah, Sledge also has moment of seven. He's got an ability there for uh, Pile Driver, which is his next attack gains uh, plus three net hits, um, which is uh, pretty insane. So if you go up there and just you know spend your spend your influence to right before you make your attack. Um, he has a power driver, so if he charges in, it's pretty insane. So there you go. And that's pretty much the box set there for, for the new Guild Ball team, Blacksmiths. Um, check it out. Uh, it retails, from what I know of, at about $50. Um, very similar to all their new teams that they are going to be released in all plastic form. Uh, it's going to be $50. Um, and I'd say it's worth every penny. Um, and uh, I hope you guys uh, hope you guys like this. Thanks.